Hey indie filmmakers, Griffin here with what looks like a little lens, but it's not. This is the Olympus A01. It's a camera, kind of. Depends on how you define what a camera is. It has a micro four thirds sensor. On the back, it has a built-in battery. It has a little tiny micro SD card slot, um, but no controls really, no camera body. To do that, it actually hooks up to your phone as an LCD slash control panel. It's marketed towards people who want to take better smartphone photos. I mean, it's cute and small. So why would I want one of these things? I actually thought for $300, maybe this would be a great extra camera body. I travel with my GH4, which is shooting right now. I got my GH3 right here as a second camera body, but I don't always know on shoots if I'm gonna need a second camera. I might get myself into a situation where I have an interview and it's great to have a B camera. Uh, so I don't always wanna travel with this whole camera body. Maybe this little tiny guy works with all my micro four thirds lenses. I could just travel with this instead. I mean, look how tiny this would be in my bag. So that's why I picked it up. But I'll tell you today, what works and what doesn't work about this camera. Uh, I think ultimately it's not really a replacement for a DSLR. So to use this little camera, you pop your smartphone on here, turn the camera on with power button, connect to its Wi-Fi network on your phone, and then you load up the OA Central app and it runs you through this little wizard uh, to set the thing up. This thing is actually pretty confusing. Uh, several times I've gone through this and I can't figure it out because it wants to connect via Bluetooth and it puts these little passwords for the Wi-Fi network and the Bluetooth network here on the back of the camera and they're wrong. I think the Wi-Fi one works, the Bluetooth one, it needs a six digit passcode and I can't for the life of me figure out what that is. It's not any of the numbers here on the back and uh, Olympus hasn't been any help. So Bluetooth, throw that out the window, just use the Wi-Fi. The cool thing about this, of course, is that you can use it with or without the phone attached, uh, but it always wants to turn on the little the little setup wizard. I've found if you're connected via Wi-Fi, all you need to do is go to mode dial and then it'll work. This thing is made for taking photos. It has all sorts of photo modes, manual, shutter priority, aperture priority. Uh, in manual mode, you have complete control through the smartphone over your uh, your shutter speed, your aperture, your ISO, and your white balance. Uh, right now it's in white balance auto. You can't do a custom white balance, but you can use all the presets that are here. The main problem though, is that when you leave photo mode, it seems like it takes fine photos, but when you go into video mode, you suddenly lose all of that manual control, which was the whole reason I got this thing. Um, you have white balance control and you have exposure compensation. You can set an exposure level, but you can't really control and fine tune the ISO, the shutter speed, and the aperture, which is kind of annoying for video. But it does have some pretty cool things on here, like you know, the fact that this is a, <laughs> it's just a circular uh, camera. It can roll all over the place. So it has a little level meter on the screen, which is really nice. One problem I've noticed from a design standpoint is that if I use any of my larger Micro Four Thirds lenses, I can't really get a quick release plate on there. It just, it's not gonna fit. And even if I put it sideways, I find it can't fit on my tripod. So I'm really always using this thing with my clamp mount. It's really the only way I can mount it to things. But it is so small that, you know, I could put a little tiny Micro Four Thirds lens like this uh, Pancake 14 millimeter. And suddenly this thing is not a whole lot bigger than a GoPro, uh, but I have a little bit more control over the optics. I can put different kinds of lenses on here. So let's see if this thing even stacks up. Here's a side-by-side -side test between the Panasonic GH4 shooting at 35 millimeters and the Olympus A01 also shooting at 35 millimeters on two different Panasonic lenses. Uh, I would try to get all the settings the same, but really I don't have a lot of control in this app. I can just see that I'm level or not. Uh, I can't really tell if I'm in focus and I can't set my aperture and shutter speed to match necessarily. I don't really know what it's doing. And the best I could do is, uh, is an incandescent white balance mode to try to get it close. But I think the, the video quality is, is okay. It just can't have the processing power that a camera has. In that little tiny body, it 
surely doesn't have a lot of brain power. I actually took it out into a field shoot recently. I was using my GH4 as an A cam, my GH3 as a B cam, and I decided to put the Olympus mounted on a clamp on a light stand as a C camera just to have that extra shot. Uh, we ended up using it, it looked all right, but you could just see that the quality wasn't quite the same. It really didn't match very well. Uh, but I guess in a pinch, it's a small little tiny camera body that I can carry around with me and know that it'll use my, my same Panasonic lenses. So the Olympus Air A01 is a pretty cool idea, but it's just not there yet. It's still kind of clunky and doesn't have all the features I need. And the video quality just isn't good enough for me. But I'm kind of waiting and hoping that they release a firmware upgrade. If they can at least give me those manual video controls, it'll make this into the kind of video camera I might actually throw into my bag. Well, thanks for watching. And if you like these kind of videos, be sure to actually click the like button.